Well, it's about two weeks before the end. This is going to be my last video, probably before till after that. Um, that's terrible. Well, it's about two weeks before I finally drop out of society and start this project. Um, yeah. Well, it's about two weeks before we finally drop out of society and fully commit to this. Uh, this is probably going to be my last video until after that. I just wanted to get one last video in before uh, that time. So far, I'm come to terms with it. I'm doing okay. It's starting to accept it. It doesn't really freak me out anymore like it did sometimes. Um, today is probably the nicest day it's been in a long time. As you can see, I have about three loads left before the final. Um, been doing pretty good lately, getting about two loads up a week. About 100 pounds each week now of supplies and material. Um, this winter's been pretty brutal. It's been really slowing me down. I was hoping to be done about a month ago, but it's just constantly snowed and last month has just been really really wet and rainy and uh, it's just just couldn't do anything for a long time but I'm hoping now that uh, the weather is going to change it looks like it's getting better it's starting to switch over I can finally get everything up here and finish this off finally do what I have to do and get it out of the way at this point I don't know what's going to happen it, I may get uh, caught right away basically if I get caught I'm just going to shoot myself so I mean I could basically be dead in two weeks or three weeks I don't know it's all up to chance at this point so I don't think anyone knows where I'm at but if they put it together who knows at this point I have to take that chance so it's just going to be a point of you know go as far as I can my I do have my escape and that's death <laughs> I can always shoot myself and I'm okay with that so I'm getting to the point where just trying to live and pay bills and live as a civilian and go to work I just it just freaks me out it's actually more comfortable for me to think about living out here um, robbing banks pharmacies just taking what I want for as long as I can at least it'll be exciting it won't be boring and I don't have to worry about Lynette or Kayleen and everything will be taken care of it'll just be me so today we got probably about a 55 pound pack um, today we're hauling up a 55 pound pack um, basically a big bottle full of beans that's about 45 pounds and some wine making stuff and then it's the weight of the gun in the pack so a little lighter than what I have been doing um, doing pretty good. I've really got a lot of stuff up. I mean, basically, I can last months up here without ever leaving. I've got propane, gasoline, food, soap, all su supplies. So, really set right now. This winter has been, you know, just to show just how brutal it was. Well, we had a big ice storm. This is one of the trees that's fallen down over the trail. Um, kind of another one over there. 
uh, just a lot of damage branches down everywhere makes it a little more difficult to get through but I don't want to move it I'd like to keep it as hard to get through here so nobody will come out here well before you know a while ago I used to sit here and think you know this whole thing is just crazy at times and then I think about it and and it would make sense and it's like okay this is what I gotta do but uh, you know now I guess with time I just think that way all the time that this is what I gotta do to, I don't even question it anymore it just seems like everything makes so much sense now um, you know just the more I've thought about it the more I understand it. I don't really feel bad about it. It's just the way it is. You know, certain things happen that cause this to happen. So, just kind of accepted it and just rolling with it. One of my projects today is to take all this wood that I've cut up recently and stack it up, pull it down, a little bit more out of the way, hidden. So if somebody stumbles out here, it's uh, not as noticeable. I just haven't been able to do it because it's just been so wet and nasty. But today is a good day. Nice and sunny, fairly dry, and so that's what I'll do. Well, I finished uh, moving the wood up here. This is where it used to be, and that's where it is now, all nicely stacked, pretty well hidden, and I covered up a lot of the, the marks with tree branches from the ice storm. So, that part's done. Very tiring. Oh. Well. well, this is the end of the day. I'm getting wrapped up, getting ready to leave. I don't know if you can see me, but it's kind of one last look at everything. That's my fireplace, wood stove, whatever. Pretty dark. Now we're going upstairs. This is where most of my supplies are. Pretty well stocked up. My window. Looking down on the wood stove and that pretty much wraps it up for the day so I've been up here about seven hours that includes hike time and work time uh, pretty exhausting a lot of work a lot of hard work um, so, take me about an hour to get back. Use up what little energy I have left. And then I get to start the two day recovery process.